It's peak revision season, so I've come up with my top revision gear list to help you to maximize your revision, your productivity, and your effectiveness. Hi everyone, and welcome to Miss Estrick Biology. My name's Miss Estrick, and I've been teaching biology for over 14 years, and I'm here to help you to get to grips with those most challenging topics in biology, improve your study skills technique, and help you to get the grades that you deserve. Now, today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my essential revision gear list, because we are in peak revision and I know lots of you want to know how best to revise and if there's anything to help improve your productivity or just the way you're revising. So I'm coming up with a list of things that I've recommended but also I've reached out to you on Instagram and I've got some of the common things that people have said have really helped them that I'm going to share with you today. Now everything that I do recommend you can have a look in the description and there's a link to everything. So if you see something that you think will really help you make sure you go and have a look and also make sure you watch till the end because I'm gonna be sharing with you an epic giveaway linked to this list. So I've split my list into four categories to help you to see what might most help you. So I'm gonna be giving you in the list what I think are the top stationary items, the top items to help improve your productivity, the top resources to use, and the top things to use to help you improve your focus and to prevent procrastination. So let's face it, we are all guilty of that one. So let's start with the stationery. And number one, sounds obvious, but a decent notepad. And when I say decent, obviously they all come with paper, lined paper, that's standard. But for me, what makes it decent is when I look at it, it just makes me feel a bit happier, fills me with joy to make you actually wanna do a bit of work. I love these two that are currently on the website for Paper Chase. Those two would get me wanting to do revision. So those would be my recommendations for some pads. As well as that though, it's the standard thing. So you're gonna need some pens, but I love to have highlighters as well, just to pick out the key marking points. So make sure you have a set of highlighters. You might also actually find it really helpful to have little sticky notes or post-it notes. So you can indicate where on your work are the key marking points, or you might wanna stick a post-it note over the top of something to add in extra information, or again, the key marking points. Now it might sound strange to add this into a stationary list, but go with me on this one. Some people now don't work pen and paper. They prefer to do everything electronically. So that's why I'm putting this on the stationary list. So if you do prefer to work making notes electronically, then a key piece of equipment is gonna be some sort of device. So I personally, when I'm making my notes, I use my iPad, which I'll link just here, and I use GoodNotes 5. So for me, those are the two that I use when I'm making electronic notes but I do also make paper notes because I like to have that too. So now we get to the resources. What are the essential resources that you should be using for your revision for A-level biology? Or some of this is applicable to any subject. Number one, you have to have a copy of your specification. How are you meant to know what you're meant to learn if you don't have your spec there? Now you could have that electronically or printed out, but one thing I want to highlight is don't just have the theory section where it tells you all of the information to learn. Make sure you have the math section and the practicals because the maths makes up 10% of your A-level, the practicals makes up 15%. So if you're not printing that, you're ignoring 25% of your A-level of what you need to learn. So make sure you have that printed so you can check against that as you revise. Now the two textbooks that I like the most, my favorite textbook for AQA biology is this one. It's the OUP or Oxford University Press textbook. And it's the one that I use with my students at school. I also absolutely love this practical book. It tells you all the required practicals, what skills you need to know, how it could be assessed, it gives you examples, and it has questions. So that is a must for the practicals. Now, instead of making your own A-level notes, which takes hours, I've got something to save you a lot of time. I've got my own set of A-level notes, which includes all of the theory at the level of detail you need to know. I've summarized the key marking points on every page. I've summary boxed the end of topic. And what makes mine unique as well is at the end of every topic, I include essay links to tell you how that topic could link to others for the essay. Now, in addition to notes, you need to be doing lots of active recall. So the next resource that I offer is my active recall workbook, which assesses all of the theory for AQA in a range of different ways to improve your memory of all of the content. And the final resource that I have, which will really help with your productivity, which is coming up later, but as it's a resource, I'm throwing it in here. That is my revision timetable, template and guide. 
So I provide you with a template and a guide of how best to plan your revision to make sure it's effective and so it's easier to stick to. Now, the final thing, once you have done your consolidation, you've done your active recall, the absolute essential is past papers. So you can get all of those from your exam board website. So absolutely you have to have past papers as an essential piece of revision gear. So another one of the resources that you might find really helpful is flashcards. And I know some people prefer paper flashcards like the ones just here, which I've linked below. Some people prefer to have the electronic apps like Anki or Quizlet because they automatically will shuffle the cards to show you the ones that you get wrong. So therefore you're gonna use those ones more often to improve your knowledge of the harder topic. So flashcards, either electronic or paper, those are great. Another way to help improve your productivity, I do have my revision timetable template that I offer, but I know some people prefer to more work by lists per day and be more flexible week on week to see what they actually need to do. So I think something like this, this tear away weekly planner will be great. To the point that actually when I did this research, I saw it and I bought one for myself because I love that idea. Next on the list is the essential revision gear to help with your productivity because you only have about a month left, you need to be as productive as possible. So there are apps out there which are really good for tracking the amount of revision you do and to try and help you keep on track. So things like Forest, those are really good. Other things that I recommend, and this might not be something you've considered as an essential revision gear item, but it is water. To be productive, you have to be hydrated. So make sure you're drinking enough water or if you wanna add a bit of flavor to it, I love some of these teas that Pucker do. They have a whole range which are meant to be calming or you can have some that are energizing and so on. So this is one that I've linked below because I know quite a few people are suffering from exam stress, anxiety and struggling to sleep. So give those a go and you might find that it really helps to calm you and to be able to be more productive. So the last section on my list is focus. And I know so many people struggle to remain focused. Now, one thing that I've heard I never thought of this, but it was something that lots of people on Instagram said that they find really effective, is noise cancelling headphones. I mean, that is a great idea, and I've linked these ones below. Now, if you are trying to revise in a noisy household, you've got lots of younger siblings, then this would be perfect for you to just cut out all of that distraction. Other big thing that I know is a huge distraction is social media. It's difficult because quite often you might be using videos like this on YouTube to actually help you revise, or you might have your spec on your phone, but then you have a notification pop up and bang, that's it, you're gone, you're distracted. However, what I recommend is downloading an app such as Blocksite, which will block the social media apps for the duration that you set. So if you know that you are going to be revising for three hours in the morning, you can set it up so social media is blocked. You can then use your device for the things that you actually need for your revision without getting distracted. So now for the giveaway. I told you that if you watched the end, you would hear about the giveaway, so here it is. I'm gonna be giving away for free my complete revision bundle to one of you. Now my complete revision bundle includes the full set of A-level notes, the full set of the active recall workbook and a template plus a guide for how to make the perfect revision timetable. Now that normally costs 49 pounds, but I'm gonna be giving that to one of you for free. So the way to enter is two things you need to do. Like this video, number two, in the comments, let me know what is your favorite item to use for revision. So what could you not do without when you are revising? And then in a week's time from when I upload this video, I will be randomly selecting one person to give that product away to for free. So get liking, get commenting and get your entry in. But for now, I'm gonna say goodbye and I hope you found this helpful. If you have, give this video a thumbs up.